What is the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and we're going to be going through the new players that they released as part of this pack. So we've already done this review here with Sedorf, Cambiaso and Zé Roberto who are the picks of this epic booster pack. So they're all the booster players but I want to draw your attention to the players that are also in this pack because there are three or four beasts in here that especially if you're starting off man these are huge upgrades on your squad. I mean these are insane players that can do multiple roles, utility players in Shuameni and Kimmich that you can train multiple ways, really underrated players like Pellegrini and Rafa Silva finally getting decent cards that can be in in-game squads or mid-game to in-game squads. And listen, if you're in the pursuit of Sadorf or Zé Roberto or Cambi and you get one of these guys, you might be a little bit discouraged. But I'm going to show you a couple of really good builds for these guys, right? So you've got Kimmich, Shuameni, Pellegrini, Bruno, you've got Solar. You've got Rafa Silva and you have Till. And then last but not least, you have Ludstram at the end there as well. He's down as a CMF. So we're going to focus our attention on the three top picks here. But that's not to say that these guys aren't great either. This guy's a box-to-box -box is pretty average, right? So I won't spend too much time on him, even though he's got 35 levels to go. If you are a Rangers fan, obviously that will interest you. The same way if you are a fan of PSV, this guy as a whole player is quite decent. He's got 35 levels to go as well. One touch pass, true pass, and he doesn't have low lofted, which I like on my attacking midfielders, or else blister and pace if you want to run and gun. But a very, very good player to train up as well. 26 years of age, a till. Very nice player. He's got unwavering form. And he is on A rating this week, so it's quite nice. A very good player. But these are the guys that I'm going to be focusing on up here a little bit, right? It's going to be Shuamene, Kimmich, and Rafa Silva. Now, I will say a quick word about Pellegrini as well. This guy is insane, lads. He has got probably... Actually, I will focus on Pellegrini as well. He has got one of the, the best cards in the game, lads, by a mile. It's an amazing, amazing card. He really, really plays well. Even his standard card and the card that he had with the Italian packet. These are all his cards here. This Italian pack card that they had or the European uh, eFootball Pro Championship, this was a really good card as well. But I think that this card is going to be able to beat them all, right? His standard card is minus two on everything, minus five in acceleration, but it has less four less levels, right? So this guy Pellegrini, when we train him up here as a whole player, is going to be ridiculous. The biggest issue that he had before with these cards was his lack of acceleration. But on this card, it seems to be a bit higher. He's got 76 acceleration. He's got brilliant, brilliant player skills. One touch pass, true pass, away to pass, pinpoint, and low lofted. Everything that you could possibly want, apart from double touch if you are a bit of a run and gun. But when you train him up, it's quite easy to see how good he's going to be, right? Even without the boost. I would always say that if a player is less than 85 acceleration, I would try and get his low pass up to past 85 because you're going to be passing more than running just if you are playing to the player's strengths. But this guy actually goes to, to pretty much every level that you could possibly want as an attacking midfielder. You don't need to go uh, higher than 78, so 6 into lower body. If you shoot a lot, this guy probably won't be for you because his, his base finishing is at 70. I would leave that for somebody else that we'll see on the list in a second. But his passing, his dribbling, his dexterity, and even on top of that, lads, he has got a bit of aggression as well um, that he'll be able to kind of win the ball back more aggressively than some of the smaller base attacking midfielders. He's got a bit of height. He's not the worst physically. Um, you know, 70, 67 header as well. That will get a boost. Curl is good. Finishing is, is good. Balance and stamina is good. But it's all about the acceleration and the dribbling and the passing for me that's kind of where this guy really excels because you're going to have a player that has got very 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 good um play style and very very good as a whole player with passing he's got all the passing tricks and skills that you want if you want to get the passing into the 90 zone you do have to make a decision between acceleration or passing i would probably say where the game plays at, at the moment i would probably put it into passing i always kind of like um slept on passing a little bit but it does make a difference a little bit i won't say that it's you know going to make a huge difference if you're into the 100 zone compared to like 85 passing but i do feel that when you are training a player like pellegrini it just encourages you to play to his strengths more he's not a run and gun like the likes of you know say Eze or pedri that's got a bit of acceleration right but moving back we will focus on the other players in this bruno if you are a newcastle fan isn't bad either unwavering form he's down as an orchestrator he's got sliding tackle but that's the only defensive stat he has fairly high aggression off the rip speed is a little bit of a concern because he's not an anchorman you will have to put an, an individual instruction on him um by default but excellent dribbling type possession low pass brilliant passing actually and he is on a rating this week as well but the three guys i really want to focus on 
um, are Rafa Silva, who is an absolute immense player. Now, lads, I have been waxing lyrical about this guy, Rafa Silva, for so long. He is in my team since day one on eFootball 2022. I think he was one of my first signings when we got up to Division 1 in the first couple of days of eFootball 22 in the football 2023 and i definitely will try and get this card because it looks insane it's a bit pity a bit of a pity that you can't buy these cards i would definitely no have no problem popping in 10 quid if i could guarantee myself getting this rafa silva card as part of a pack but listen that's the method that they're doing that's the way that it's working for him at the moment his stats are amazing topped up by his player skills he doesn't have one touch pass you will have to give him that if you're playing him as your main kind of whole player attacking midfielder but look at the options that you have with him, lads, right? This is just a base build of him, 92 overall, and we've still got 10 progression points. But look at the stats. 88 ball control, 91 dribbling, 88 tight possession. They're all going to get boosted with the manager boost. 88 speed, 85 balance, 93 acceleration. Now, from here, when we've got 10 left, so you're going to pop, pop 3 into shooting, 10 into passing, 9 into dribbling, 6 into dexterity, and 4 into lower body. If you're playing him as an attacking midfielder, you're also going to pop one touch pass on him. But from here, right, in this situation here, we're going to make a decision whether you shoot a lot. If you do, pop 5 into that to bring his finishing up to 80, okay? Or even there. If you wanted to go that route, you could go that route as well. Uh, in my opinion, that's probably the best build if you shoot a lot with him, right? Or if you don't want to do that, you can pop it into dexterity. His passing is high enough at 84 for the type of player he is, but if you wanted to max out his acceleration and get that balance stat up in past the 90s, it will make a big difference. You're going to have plus 90 on ball control, dribbling, tight possession, speed, and then you're going to have uh, and balance, and then you're going to have acceleration maxed out at 99 on this card. So it's a phenomenal card. And as I said, if you don't need that high, um, you could even just put it at that and pop two into that to get the finish into 77. Or if you wanted to run and gun a little bit, you could actually take a little bit from the dribbling there. Um, even though I wouldn't, you could take some from the passing there and pop it into shooting to get 78, finishing to get the boost as well. So there's lots of ways of training him and you still have one left over there. There's lots of ways of training him, right? We've also got Shua Mene here who's down as a DMF. Now he's down as an anchorman, right? One of my favorite players in the game um, is uh Declan Rice anchorman player of the week version and Shua Mene a lot of people have been asking me about him is he good enough is he viable he doesn't have blocker but he does have everything else that you could possibly want um he doesn't have man marking either but apart from that one touch pass way to pass so from deep he's going to be really really good and his stats are really really nice as well if you take a look at him here with the training guide you've got four into passing one into dribbling six into dexterity four into lower body and then it's all about his defense you know you're going to have those into the 90s and then the pick of them lads is probably Kimmich I have slept on Kimmich for quite a while but I definitely think I'm gonna have to give this guy a go if we do get him and if we give him a whirl he looks insane low pass lofted pass tackling all into the 88 zone you've also got the balance stamina speed acceleration kick and power jump and look at that aggression and defensive engagement with where the game is gone at the moment if you've missed out on any of the legends and you are going to be spinning for these and you get Kimmich my god what a player and look at the player skills as well he's got true passing way to pass one touch interception yes you need to give him blocker and he the big problem with Kimmich why I don't use him is because of this playing style orchestrator but that has become less of an issue with eFootball 2024 I think they kind of will do away with that in terms of registered uh, play style soon that you'll be able to change him maybe um but yeah fantastic player so they're in the box there obviously it's spicy enough to be drawn for those players but yeah Kimmich is on A rating this week as well which is huge but yeah that is it for me lads I will talk to you later hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to check out the live stream we will be live later peace